Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ISC Squared 6th Annual U.S. Government Information Security Leadership Awards. We have a very special guest with us tonight, Congresswoman Betsy Markey. Betsy was the first federal information security practitioner to be elected to the Congress. Betsy, we have a small award uh, for you uh, to recognize your accomplishment. The most important aspect of any organization, whether it's private or public, is who you have on the bus. So I know you've got a lot of challenges ahead to make sure that you are able to attract the system security uh, specialist to, um, to move this country forward to address the many, many issues in cybersecurity that, that we have. Um, and you will be able to do that because this is an exciting, changing field. And like so many others, there's nothing static about cyber security. First though, I'd like to take a moment to recognize and thank our RIC Squared Director, Mr. Horde Tipton, for joining us tonight. Yeah. Um, uh, Horde has been the Executive Director for a little over a year, and he's done an excellent job so far. I've actually enjoyed meeting security professionals from uh, all corners of the world. Uh, they, they have run me ragged. Uh, this year. I've been uh, just in the last month to Germany, Brazil, Singapore, Malaysia. The ISC Squared is celebrating our 20th anniversary. And um, we've grown from a small group of very highly dedicated volunteers. And from that small group of passionate people around the kitchen table, we've now grown to over 66,000 members represented in 135 countries. And uh, we've, we've matured to uh, the point where the, some of our members have really reached the highest levels of employment in both the public and in the, uh, the private sectors. So we take uh, a lot of pride in our reputation uh, that our industry has earned for instilling trust and integrity while demonstrating true professionalism. So I am thrilled to be here tonight to recognize and reward those professionals who are exceptionally effective at carrying out this enormous task, as well as those who do their part by influencing and supporting security best practices. I'm uh, delighted and honored to be here this evening to introduce tonight's uh, keynote speaker, Bruce McConnell. On uh, June 1, 2009, Bruce was appointed by Secretary Janet Napolitano to serve as the Cybersecurity Counselor to the Deputy Undersecretary for National Protection and Programs, Philip Redinger, at the Department of Homeland Security. The number one priority that we have at DHS is people. And uh, it's uh, mostly about building capacity and then, in addition to that, about education and awareness. So we are busy trying to recruit people to come uh, and work with us in, in Homeland Security on cybersecurity, and people are very interested. This is finally, the IT people have a sexy mission. This is great. It's a huge moment in human history uh, to get this thing to actually turn over uh, so that it's a pl safe place to be and that the security business is about fixing stuff on the margins rather than the, than the situation we find ourselves in today, which is an extremely reactive and, and um, stressful uh, environment. To be eligible for these awards, all candidates must be employed by the federal government or, uh, or a federal contractor and maintain a full-time job in an IT security position. In the non-managerial information security professional category, the finalists are Bobby Akins. Bobby is a 20-year-plus veteran of the United States Air Force and is currently assigned as a network integrator for the 561st Network Operations Squadron at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado. Our next nominee is Karen Higa-Smith. Ms. Karen Higa-Smith is a program manager at the Command, Control, and Interoperability Division with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Science, and Technology Division. And the next finalist, Technical Sergeant Shannon Haygood. Ms. Haygood, who is assigned to the 554th Electronic Systems Wing at Maxwell Gunter Air Force Base in Alabama, is responsible for managing and providing technical oversight 
to 69 functional system administrators to ensure compliance with all Air Force and DOD security regulations affecting UNCLASS as well as classified networks. The winner of the 2009 ISC Squared Gizla in the non-managerial information security professional category is Bobby Akins. I'm pleased to present you the finalists in the Senior Non-Information Security Manager category. Our first finalist in this category is Cecile Jones. Ms. Cecile Jones is the Director of the Internal Revenue Services Business Systems Planning Office, which provides critical security services for the agency's Business Modernization Office. Our second finalist in this category is Erin Finks. Ms. Erin Finks is the Branch Chief of Executive Management and Support Services for the Defense Contract Management Agency. Our third finalist in this category is Lori Roberts. Ms. Lori L. Roberts, Senior Program Manager for the Wage and Investment W&I Security Program Management Office at the Internal Revenue Service, is a 21-year veteran of the IRS. The winner of the 2009 ISC Squared Gizla in the Senior Non-Information Security Manager category <laughs> is Aaron Finks. So I'm pleased to be here this evening to recognize the nominees, finalists, and winners in the Senior Information Security Managers category. Carrie Gilbert, Holly Ridgway, and Mary Evans Colubri. And now I'd like to present the finalists in the Senior Information Security Manager category. Our first finalist is Austin Pearson. Mr. Pearson is the Information Assurance Program Manager at the Combined Arms Center. Our second finalist in this category is Pat Howard. Pat is the CISO at the Department of Computer Security at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in their Computer Security Office. Our third finalist is Stanley Joger Zombeck. Joe is being recognized for his outstanding leadership in organizing and managing the DHS's Department of Defense NIST and Software Assurance Forum. The winner of the 2009 IC Squared Gizla in the Senior Information Security Manager category is, and I'll try to duplicate Dara's jump roll, Stanley Joger Zombeck. Unfortunately, Stanley's out of the country right now. And so he sent Ms. Rayma Morthy to accept the award on his behalf. <laughs> I'm very delighted to be here this evening and recognize the nominees, the finalists, and the winner of this significant award, the Federal Contractor Information Security Professional category. Now I'd like to ask all the nominees to come up on this stage, stage and accept your award as I call your name. David Oldham, Stephen Keefe, and Yvette Simmons. Now I'd like to recognize the finalists in the Federal Contractor Information Security Professional category. The first finalist is John Stewart. He currently leads the Corporate Security Programs Organization at Cisco and was also a member of the Commission on Cybersecurity for the 44th President the second finalist is John Begali. John is a security project manager for APS ATR Joint Venture. And the third finalist is Margaret Spanginger. Ms. Spanninger leads the Security Awareness Training and Professional Development Services Program at Booz Allen Hamilton. The winner of the 2009 ISC Gisela award for Federal Contractor Information Security Professional category is Margaret Spanninger. Margaret. 